Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm strictly going to be going over a data log that I have here to show you guys all the things that you can learn with a data log. Uh, my truck runs a Holley Sniper EFI. Well, it's a Holley Sniper X Flow. It's an EFI system, if you don't already know. Um, it works really good. Had it on there for probably about four or five months now. And I pretty much daily drive the truck. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, went to the drag strip, had a little fun, raced a five liter Mustang and decided to data log it. Um, it was a 2014 model, full bolt on with a standard. Uh, it was a no prep flashlight start race, so that made it, you know, a lot of fun. Uh, the downside is, right before I went to the drag strip, I went to the car wash. And uh, I guess I shock mode two sensor somehow messed it up. It started acting real bad. Uh, here's what my AFRs were reading going down the track or not going down the track, but just as idling around, this is during my burnout. But uh, you could tell it shouldn't be bouncing around like that in any case, really. Anybody knows that's not good, especially when the RPMs are staying the same. That's bad. The red line is the RPM. The blue line is the map sensor. This is the closed loop right here, the yellow. To let myself run the track without blowing my engine up, I uh, <clears throat> pretty much closed off the uh, fuel learning completely and turn the closed loop to only 10%. That way it could make 10% changes. <clears throat> so uh, I did that and it ran pretty good, even though it didn't run probably the way it could have, it still ran good. So I'm gonna cut the, this off right here just to, to view something on the graph. You can click it over here, you can click it on and off, on or off of these check marks. So I'm gonna cut that off to get it out of our way. I'm going to turn the closed loop off to get it out of our way so it don't matter. And uh, we'll talk about some of this other stuff we got going on here. So I cut the data log on. You can see way back here where my uh, area is. Went up to go do my burnout, which was a bad idea. I have street tires. Uh, you can see right here, this green line right here is a throttle position sensor. I stabbed it to get it going and then uh, let off the gas and bump second and then pretty much let it hook back up. You can see right here. And I pull up to the line. Darn train went by. Anyway, pull up to the line. You can see I was getting on the line right here. They were pulling me up, bumping me up. So I had my foot on the brake. You can see my RPMs going up with my throttle position right here. Right before I let off the brake, I was giving it 10% throttle at 1800 RPMs, but it was already trying to push through the brakes. I could feel at that point. So I let off the throttle and I spin pretty bad. Um, I let off the throttle, you can see right here at 93 seconds into the data log. And then at 96.7 seconds there, I'm uh, all the way through first gear, shifting at 6,200 RPMs. And I was still spinning because you could tell as the RPMs come down, they don't come straight down like they do over here on the second to third gear shift. It just skews down. This was right here is where it hooked up at. Bogged it all the way down to 4,100 RPMs. And uh, normally it only drops about a thousand rpms but uh by the time it hooked up the speed slowed down you know the vehicle speed slowed down and bogged it down to 4100 rpms so that wasn't good for my run that's about where the mustang started pulling off on me even though he did hook up a lot sooner than i did but it's still like i said it was a great race went on through second uh i did the math i was only on the throttle here from this point to this point right here where I let off the brake for about 13.1 seconds. Um, I was only in first gear for 3.3 seconds, like I said earlier. So that's, you know, pretty fast. I mean, I was spinning. That's pretty much tells me how bad I was spinning because normally my, in first gear, it, takes usually at least four seconds to get all the way through first gear 
I mean, as you can tell right here, I didn't even completely floor it at first. When I first let it all got off the line, I was only giving it 45%. I was already spinning, but then I still hammered down on it and that just made things worse. So, uh, yeah, you see how it went. Hit third and carried it out and let off the throttle. Uh, it was a fun race, but anybody that, <clears throat> you know, aren't familiar with these dialogues, you know, I haven't done anything complicated. You can do lots of different things, you know, to, there's a lot more things that you can do with this thing than what I'm doing with it. I'm just going over it in the simplest terms. This right here, you'll bring it in and out. You know, and you can bring this right here and drag it however you want to, whatever position you want. That way you can zoom in or out, you know, you can get all the details you want real easy. There's, but like I said, this is nothing. What I'm showing you is nothing. Um, let's see, coolant temp pretty much stayed the same the whole time, so that's good. Let's see, manifold air temp basically stayed the same the whole run. 120 degrees, that's not the best though. I wish it was a little cooler. It was probably, probably 70. 75 degrees outside but uh yeah that's that i mean it was a real fun race uh, you can see how easy it is to go through these things and you know really learn a lot <clears throat> uh, if you notice you know i ran my truck out right here in second to 6750 rpms and you could tell just by looking at how the RPM climbed, um, definitely probably doing at least 95 on that shift. Uh, you know, it's not tailing off, still running pretty good at that RPM. So the reason why I only shifted at 6,200 out of first gear is because I had to set my max shift points at 6,100 in my transmission computer. Uh, the reason why is because it'll shift first perfectly. Now I have a good shift kit in it and it works great But uh, for some reason it wants to hold second gear like I'll hang on if I shift at 6100 here you can see right here it shifted at 6750 and I even let off the throttle a little bit just to make sure it would shift so <clears throat> I don't know uh, what to do about that, but what I am going to do is I think next time I'm at the track uh, I'm going to just go ahead and bump it up to about 7,000 that way I can run first out good And then I'll go ahead and run second out as long as I can and then I'll just let off the throttle You know at the end of the track because by the time it hits third gear you probably You know you're a good ways into it as you can tell right here Well, my truck does have 410 gears, but it has like a 30 inch tall tire on it so, you know, it makes them pretty long. I think I'm going to get tires next, which is uh, going to be, I think it's going to be uh, one of my good investments. Uh, I did set up the launch control for this thing. Uh, put me a base graph in it, and I set the two-step up at a low RPM, and I want to go test it out when I have some good weather. Uh, today, we have real bad weather. Uh, we had a tornado come within 10 minutes of my house, uh, was on the ground, they said for over 60 miles. Uh, at least one person has died. Uh, that person lived about 10 minutes away from my house, so I uh, consider myself lucky here. Uh, luckily, the tra uh, tornado traveled through a lot of woods, uh, not through neighborhoods like it could have. Probably saved a lot of people right there on its own. Alright, so enough of the bad news, uh, let's get to this race. <clears throat> 